Each year at West Lindsay District Council, we talk to local people as part of our budget consultation to identify what our spending priorities for the next few years should be. This helps us to focus on the people and services who need our support the most. This year is no exception and we want your help to shape next year's budget and to help us realise our vision for the district. Our district is extremely varied, with a large rural population, three thriving market towns and many extremely popular village communities around our neighbouring city of Lincoln. West Lindsay is an absolutely fabulous district. It's just one of those areas where everywhere is a community and the people who live there create the places that are so important to how we live our lives and enjoy those lives. At West Lindsay District Council, we are launching our new plan that reflects our drive to deliver sustainable growth across the whole district. It aims to enhance and protect our environment, the character of our rural communities, and also to strengthen the economy of the district. As with all the other councils across the country, the challenge for West Lindsay District Council has been to adjust our budgets to cope with the reduction in funding from central government, all whilst trying to maintain and even improve the level of service we offer to our residents and communities. The last few years has been very much focused on where people would want to see us make cuts given that we've had the loss of four million pounds of grant funding over that period. And what we've been able to do is generate additional income in excess of 1.7 million and deliver efficiencies around 2.3 million. We've developed a track record in developing a more commercial approach. I think that we've got a good understanding now as an organisation about what it is to work commercially. As a council, we've become more commercial in our approach, achieved substantial savings, and we have developed strong partnerships with other public sector organisations and private businesses to deliver results that meet the needs of our communities. And that's what this is really about. It's about helping us to focus on the people and services that actually need our support the most, making sure that we're getting our budget shaped in the right way next year, that we're meeting the priorities that residents want to see us deliver against. The well-being and success of our residents and communities is of the utmost importance to the council, putting customers at the centre of everything we do. We wish to maintain our position as a well-managed and governed council that achieves results for all our communities. Well, many people think that the only services we do are recycling and rubbish collection. We'd really like to see people see services as much more than that. It's more about tackling health inequalities, the work that we do with communities, community groups through community grants, and how we support organisations to actually help themselves. We're looking at how our services support people where they live and create a better environment. We've got a skills and enterprise partnership that actually incorporates uh, local businesses, local educational establishments, and they work to develop opportunities for young people across the district. So it's about people being able to live in West Lindsay, enjoy leisure in West Lindsay, and be able to get employment in West Lindsay. But all that isn't enough on its own. We need to ensure the district doesn't stand still and we continue to see development of work, leisure and housing across the district. This means ensuring economic regeneration in the district is sustainable and benefits all of our residents. We need to facilitate access to good quality housing which meets the needs and demands of our residents and create a safer, cleaner district in which to live, work and socialise. One of the things we can do is increase the economic growth in our area and one of the things that that will lead to is more jobs. By encouraging economic growth we can uh, really improve the prosperity of our residents. West Lindsay has a great sort of potential, it's an underdeveloped area. It is it's sort of central Lincolnshire so it's right at the heart and it, and it links well to the A15, A46 which are the main routes out to the ports but it also links well into Yorkshire. Our connectivity and our established communities are at the heart of allowing us to create further economic development for the district. Well over the last decade we're sat in part of it, we're sat in the Guildhall here today and that's part of the regeneration we've done to the centre at Gainsborough. 
um, and we've got further plans coming forward. We've uh, regenerated the leisure centre here in Gainsborough, but we're also uh, building a brand new leisure facility at Market Raisin on the other side of the district. So we're doing a lot of work and a lot of that's going to become more visible in the coming months and years ahead. And so it's quite an exciting time at West Lindsay. With economic growth occurring in West Lindsay, we want to ensure that it continues and supports our residential and population growth plans. We have seen the, the uh, villages around Lincoln are highly popular sort of villages, have a special character and we've seen lots of growth and we're being careful now you know, not to overload those villages. So we are redoubling our efforts in building the residential markets in Gainsborough, which has the benefit of, of assisting its urban regeneration, but also it's a great location for, you know, for work and for families. Some parts of Gainsborough have communities in the top 4% of the most deprived in the UK. As such, our economic plans for the district are driven to ensure that Gainsborough is regenerated, to ensure it is a viable and sustainable place. Over the last three years, we have secured £6 million in grant funding to enable the creation of new housing and urban development in Gainsborough. This further develops the whole district's economy. As this continues, it is vital we ensure that we continue to improve the well-being and health of our residents and direct the funding for services and support in the right places to people who need it. One of the most important things we do when we're taking decisions here at West Lindsay is to ensure that we consider very thoroughly people's well-being, how the decisions we take and the things we do uh, will enrich and enhance people's quality of life. And when we're doing that, I think it really does deliver for people and that's what we're here for. And that's why we're looking for people to be involved in this consultation. Our budget consultation is your opportunity to give us your opinion on what we should be funding or supporting in the district that will help improve services and support to people in West Lindsay to improve their well-being. So if we are you know, fortunate enough to be able to prioritise where we spend rather than being about where we're taking money away from, then we're doing the things that people want to see happen. So I'm really keen to see this as a, as a turning point for us in terms of budget consultation. And what we really want to do is to make sure that we're focusing on the priorities that residents have and not just the priorities that we as an authority perceive. This is your district and your needs and opinions matter. You can help us to shape West Lindsay's future for years to come to work for all the communities within our district. The budget consultation started on the 8th of July. There are three ways to take part and have your say. Firstly, you can fill in the online questionnaire at www.west-lindsay.gov.uk forward slash budget 2019. You can request a paper copy via phone or at our offices. Or you can chat to us in person at any of our consultation events throughout July and August. The consultation closes at 9am on the 2nd of September, so please make sure you have your say before then. I think this is a real opportunity for residents to start and, and support us to shape their district make it a place that they want to live, work and play. It's important everyone gets involved, it's their council, it's, it's their place, it's their environment, it's their future.